टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट कोर जावा सेक्शन टू इन लॉजिकल क्वेश्चंस बेस्ड ऑन द कंसेप्ट व्हाट एवर द कंसेप्ट विल बी कवर बेस्ड ऑन द प्रोग्रामिंग सो मोस्टली वी विल कवर ऑल द प्रोग्रामिंगल रिलेटेड और कंसेप्ट रिलेटेड लॉजिकल क्वेश्चंस बेस्ड ऑन द जावा प्रोग्रामिंग सो वी हैव अ मल्टीपल सेक्शंस वी हैव क्रिएटेड सो लास्ट वीडियो विच आई कवर सेक्शन वन पार्ट ए एप्लीकेशन ए एंड एप टू आई कवर एंड आफ्टर दैट सेक्शन वन एप टू एप थ्री एंड एप फोर आई कवर इन पार्ट टू दिस इज द पार्ट थ्री वीडियो वेयर वी कवर सेक्शन टू एप्लीकेशन वन एप्लीकेशन टू एंड एप्लीकेशन थ्री इन द सेक्शन टू सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट प्रोग्राम वेयर क्लास ए इज देयर एंड इन साइड दैट वी आर डिक्लेरिंग ए स्टेटिक वेरिएबल सो यू लास्ट वट इज ए स्टेटिक वेरिएबल हाउ वी विल डिक्लेयर ए स्टेटिक वेरिएबल सो दिस इज द वे वेयर वी कैन डिक्लेयर ए स्टेटिक वेरिएबल इन साइड द क्लास सो वंस यू विल बी लोड द क्लास दैन ए स्टेटिक वेरिएबल विल बी लोडेड फर्स्ट सो वाइल यू क्रिएटेड ए स्टेटिक वेरिएबल नो नीड टू इनिशलाइज सो बाई डिफॉल्ट वैल्यू विल बी इनिशलाइज एज अ जीरो विद दिस एफ इंटीजर सो ऑल द वेरिएबल विल हैव अ बाय डिफॉल्ट वैल्यू सो वंस यू आर क्रिएटिंग ए स्टेटिक कीबोर्ड देन इट विल बी डिफॉल्ट विल बी लोडेड ऑटोमेटिकली नो नीड टू डिक्लेयर यू कैन यूज सो सी एस ओ पी वी आर प्रिंटिंग आई सो विल सी हाउ इज द वट इज द डिफॉल्ट वैल्यू फॉर स्टेटिक वेरिएबल इन टीजर आई सो सी हेयर द आउटपुट इज जीरो बिकॉज स्टेटिक वेरिएबल बाई डिफॉल्ट वैल्यू इज जीरो सो दस वाई इज कॉलिंग नो नीड टू इनिशलाइज दिस वैल्यू फॉर द स्टेटिक वेरिएबल इफ यू हैव बिकॉज ऑफ बाई डिफॉल्ट इट विल बी कॉल हेयर वी हैव अ पैकेज सेक्शन टू एप वन इन द क्लास बी वी हेयर वी क्रिएटेड मल्टीपल वेरिएबल्स इन टीज आर डबल बुल इन एंड ऑल सो ऑल बाई डिफॉल्ट वैल्यू विल बी प्रिंटेड वाई बिकॉज ऑफ ऑल आर स्टेटिक की वर्ड सो स्टेटिक की वर्ड विल बी लोडेड एट द टाइम ऑफ क्लास लोडिंग एंड वट एवर द डिफॉल्ट वैल्यू विल बी देयर दैट विल बी लोड इफ यू आर पुटिंग हार्ड कोडेड वैल्यू देन दिस हार्ड कोडेड वैल्यू विल कॉल इज डिफॉल्ट वैल्यू सो दिस इज इन टीज आर जीरो डबल इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो एंड बुल एन इज ट्रू और फॉल्स सो बाई डिफॉल्ट फॉल्स विल बी देयर देन अगेन वी हैव सी सो इन दैट सी वी हैव टू एड द पैकेज बिकॉज आई क्रिएट सेक्शन टू हेयर so the section 2 app 1 inside this static int i and j i have manually put at this value is 10 so that will be printed the hard coded value is 10 not in default value so there if we we'll print this i and j so i is 0 and j is a 10 because j value is not a default because we have put it manually so that will be will be printed if i'll go for this j uh, this one class t so in that class t what we are doing here we have two variables all are static integer i integer j and we are trying to print here so by default will be printed here in line number 9 and 10 and after that again we are reinitializing with the hard coded value hard coded means manually we are putting the value here so that 10 and 20 so again what will be happen uh, here the not it will be default value it will be initialized value whatever the real initialized value is there that will be printed the next line of 13 and 14 so what will be the output 0 0 10 20 i is a value then others program what we have this is the because all are related for static variable we are checking how a static variable we will declare what are the process how we will use default static variable what is non default static variable and all so this is a, a static variable you can declare multiple inside this and in Type because this i j and k is the static variable which is the type of integer and keyword is static so all default value will be zero by default because you have not initialized the value for that so compiler will automatically will take static default value here uh, in this other program what we are seeing here i is default j is ten and k is default m is value so uh, Based on that static, whatever initialized value that will be print. If not initialized, then default will be called. So see, this is the i is zero, j is ten, and k is zero, and m is twenty like that will be called. And then we have a g. So this g program, what will happen? We have a i, and we have a double g, m twenty thirty, and k is this. 
so if you try to print here what will happen i value will be then j value and m value is a default because these all are the job all. so j and k default value will be 0, 0.0 because default value will double whatever will be there that will be print so double value default is 0, 0.0 <laughs> and i default value is 0 and if you go for the next this one uh, next program so that next program we have static int i and after that we are creating a method here so one method i created so what will happen class will load the main method first so the main method is a static method here so inside this main method i will be declared so main i so i, I value is default because a static initialized variable is there so 0 and after that you reinitialize the value y so 10 and then you are calling test method so test method will be called and here you are also printing i value so what is the i value now is 10 so that 10 will be initialized so i output will be 0 and 10 correct and then uh, the others uh, we have uh, i and here a static int x is there and then we have again main method uh, is there inside before main method we have test method also there so main method will call main of x so x value is default is because of a static integer type so integer type default value is 0 so the 0 will be printed in line number 13 then x reinitialize with this 20 again call this test method so test method will have a 20 then reinitialize with 10 so what will be the main two method x is 10 so 0 20 and 10 will be the output you can reinitialize multiple time with this static variable or any variable static and local variable and all so uh, thus we have seen uh, like uh, this program so this program have we have this one a static int i x they have defined default value as 0 if you are manually providing this fine is not providing then compiler will provide so then main method will call main method test test have x default value 0 then reinitialize with 1 then it will go for this here and then it will print 1 and then test 2 test 2 will be called and test 2 we have 1 because reinitialize value was 1 and after that reinitialize with 2 then this will be the output of test 2 here like this uh, we can reach nice multiple time we can create a, a static method see like this and after that I have next one. In the next one uh, will have a int i so i and then i value default value will be printed and then again reinitialize with this int i equal to 10 then then value will be printed and then again you reinitialize with this 10 t so reinitialization will happen with this multiple time so i equal to 0 10 20 then if i have next program so that next program will cover uh, like a i value is a inside the method so this this is the integer type of variable and default um, the value is 0 and double type of variable they initialize with the same name so these two is the local variable for the static keyword I haven't used and inside the method local is there if you are not declaring any static and all but in local so the same name you are trying to same reference name you are trying to create because in teaser i you have created now again you are doing for double i so duplicate local variable will get compiler will get duplicate local variable so if you run this program what you'll see here there is some duplicate local variable we'll see the output here duplicate local variable of i because i you are initializing two times with this reference variable of this and then if you'll go for the next one what we are doing here next one we have a am inside that we have a static int we have boolean so that boolean again you are trying to mention boolean is true is fine but reference variable i you have already initialized with integer and again you are trying for this in the boolean so the same things you will get here 
be some compile time exception so compiler will confuse like uh, which i will be in slides for this either integer or boolean say so you will get uh, some exception here also the same exception we'll see here this one is there like a unresolved uh, compilation problem the line number seven while it will go for this main method because this is a static so a static will be loaded before the so one the classes will be loaded so it will get uh, some exception unresolved compilations while it will go for this it will ask integer i equal to zero so this i zero but here it will see like i has defined two times here before so it will get some compile time and this exception and then if next program we have this next program inside that we have a i then we reinitialize then it will call i equal to 20 and then n dot i equal to 20 so n dot i means with the suppose if you are calling this static variable uh, so based on the class name also you can call directly also you can call and class name so i equal to 20 but n dot i means inside this uh, the classes is loading so the inside the classes whatever i value so based on that you also you can call so that's n dot i will call this inside the class value whatever reinitialize value that want we will call so n dot i is the 10 and here uh, we have a next program so that next program we have i now you are doing o dot i so whatever the o dot i default value is 0 will be printed now again you reinitialize o dot i is 10. so that default value will be reinitialized with the 10 because class name dot i you are reinitializing again then o dot i will be 0 and then 10 like this yeah so after that we have others program so that other program is uh, again we have a static int and inside that method a static int default value will be zero then i you reinitialized and after that you are calling p dot i so the p dot i is again still zero because inside the p a static method default value is zero so p dot i will be called zero because here i we define so that way we can understand the core logic of java and here this one uh, i have other program so in that other program also we have a static int ij i equal to 10 and then we have printed here so i value is 10 now double again they are planning to re slice here double i equal to 2.9 so what will be the i value so here 2.9 and then q dot i will be 10 here so inside the method we are reinitializing with the same variable reference name that is fine not an issue but in same class inside the method or inside the variable if you are doing repetition then that will want we work so here 10 has been printed and after that they have double type but reference is i where inside the method this reference of i is where inside the class so that is applicable not an issue so compiler will know like a oh, real double dot i is, is double i 2.9 so this will be printed now here what you are doing q dot i means q dot i inside the classes i so i is 10 so that 10 will be printed and then the class r and the class r we have a package added and after that the static int i and then j we are reinitializing from i value here so j also will have a 10 so i and j value will be 10 10 so that also uh, we can reinitialize from i value to j and j to i like this so declarations based on that we can do this so both will be the 10 value uh, 10 10 and then next program will have a s integer s sorry a class s so in that class we have a package so that package have a static int i and a static int j so j we reinitialize with i so default value of i is 0 so that same value j is also will have a 0 this will go for this output of this uh, so you can see this uh, program and try to think about this how this output and all is coming and also you can grace up your code logic based on this programmatical 
concept. So here we are covering mostly a static variables, a static method, how we will need to call a static variable, how we need to define what are the default value of a static variable, you know. So these all are the integer with the different different reference name. They created i, j and k, i plus j, so these all. So these all different static integer um, value will be printed in SOP inside the main method because the main method will call first and ask for the i, j and k value. And then here you have, so this you, i is equal to j, j equal to 10. So that 10 is j, i equal to j and j equal to 10. So what will happen because you don't know the j value and then you are trying to uh, on the first line of you are trying to place the j value in i but j value has not yet initialized before so it will get a, some compile time exception here what will be like uh, cannot reference a field variable before it defined before defining you can't use this j value inside the i or maybe whatever the i value inside the j so you will get a, some exception uh, first you have to declare then then only you can use as a reference so you will get this exception here, uh, see, unresolved compilation problem. So what is the problem here? See, this is the problem, cannot resolve. A reference define if you want. So this is the problem of this because we are not defining and we are trying to use this inside the I. So the same uh, we have next in, next program. So next program we will declare as a class V added package and then we have multiple static integer type of value and after that we are calling so what will happen in this line number 7 m is there so m we are declaring n but n is not declared before uh, after this so the same su will come here can't reference to before it defined so you will get it compile time exception here if will try to run then what will happen the main method will call and the main method will first print this i value and then a j value like that. So while uh, they are not printing, why? Because of a static method will be, a static variable will be called first. So before the main method, whatever the static variable inside the class, that will be called and you'll see like there is a, some error is there. So then compile time exception will come instead of out, you know. Then we have other program ijk is there ij and test is there so in j they use test and then j have a test methods that is fine so main method will call and i value will be printed 10 and j value will go for the test so the test will have a in test method will call inside the j integer j and then test method will have a return type because integer they are providing as a argument so return type as an integer so that uh, yeah, type is integer so return they are providing as a 20 value so that 20 will be printed here so i and j 10 and 20 will be the output here if you want you can see video here uh, for this uh, run the output and then x we have uh, this one so in this x program we added a package and after that we'll have a main method main method will call i i what is there so i it will go for this test so here we have a multiple test method so test one and test two so what will go for the test one so test one will have a integer type so in these are return one and again test two is also have integer type and return two so one or two is three so i value will be the tree like this will be called so we need to check like how a static variable will be called to use what things we need to take care and all so 2 plus 1 equal to 3 will be printed if you go for the next one and this next one have this ij and test so this again main method will call i value j j value will have a test so that test is integer type so return i so here a static integer type so if you are not defining return variables with the brief value then uh, that will be print as a default value because a static is declared so no need to manually recon declare the value so default value will be printed as a zero here 
sorry so default value right now is a 10 here because i you have declared as a 10 so j so inside that j the, you are using i so i is already initialized with 10 value yes and then other program which i have this program is related for this main method will be called i i we have test method so test method will go for that and this test method will have a j so j value already initialized before that so that j value is 10 so what will be the i value and j value so i is 10 and j is also 10 because the j is already initialized with default 10 value and i will be just calling j method test method and test method we call this so here i yeah so right now what will happen the first time i method have test dot i so i will have a default value i equal to test to so test method will call and the test method will have a j so j value is 10 correct so j value will have a j 10 but in i value will have a 0 so how come this 0 will happen so in menu we will call the size and i i equal to test method and the test method will have 0 So this is the test method inside the test method we have i static int i so this one into j and if you go for the next program in that next program we'll have a j1 we'll see this next first and then here we have a main method being then print i i value we'll call the test test we have then return is because integer type so integer type will go for the return value so the return value will have a 10 and after that i and 10 so we have some uh, issues in that id i think so in main method main being will be called and then i so i will call this test and then test will have form test then return 10 and then method and will print it so maybe because of id is so i'm not doing the proper we'll see this next one uh, so here what we are doing we have just declared the class class name before the package and after that class have created and this uh, this is how we are creating a class and inside that what is a static one what is a static method and so we don't have any main method directly we have a static variables and a static methods so in a static variable they are calling a static method so the static method will have will have a SOP and return time this so that way we can do it also another program we have a jet4 that jet4 have a main method main method i i i will call this test1 test1 will have a, a static in test1 so test1 will form test and return 10 then i will go for this test1 then test1 will call again form test and return 10 And then we have to have this one static int i equal to test and a static int test the test will have this and so main method will call main method will call this i i will go for the test method so test method have a integer type and the return so test form test and mail null so that return equal to 10 so if we we'll print this one we'll run this application we'll see the output is coming or not because of my SDSU so 
so the form test one will be created and main null equal to zero and then return 10 will be printed so like that we completed app 1 and then we have again app 2 and app 3 so in app 2 if we'll go here so app 2 will cover also the static so so we'll discuss next uh, in section 2 app 2 so here what we are doing uh, whatever we learned before that was a static variable a static method and all so this is a static block so we have a static block instance block and all so when to use static block when to use instance block we will learn about this applications coding so we have app 2 inside that we have a static block so a static block how we will create if you mention a static if you are opening braces and close braces then that is called a static block so inside whatever you are doing before this main method whatever the main method is there before main method it will be called so once the classes will be loaded all the static block will load first so what will be the output here a static block will load first in the class a so class a is executed and the compiler will load sib it means a static block and then main method will call after that so sib then main method output will be printed here see this is our like this we have uh, others so in others we'll go for this so this say the main method is there before main method we printed sib so whatever in way anywhere in the program if a static block will be there that will be done first so how you know a static block the keyword will be there in the static and open close braces that is called static block so this is csib and then main method is called then again we have a we have class c that class c will have a static block also and then after that we'll have a main method then again we have a static block so we have two static blocks nowhere how many it is static block or not so all static block will execute first so if we'll run this program then static sib1 will run first then sib2 so prior to it's sib then again we have some issues in our application so this sib1 will be loaded then sib2 will be loaded then main method will be loaded see this is the output so if we'll go for this others uh, program where what we have the class t we added the package here and after that we have a static variable so this is the static variable a static in time so if you are not defining a static variable default value will be zero or whatever the variable you define integer have default value zero others will have different and this is the static variable uh, block inside that again they reinitialize the value of default to 10 so the main method will call and then we'll see the output of i value so this i value will be printed as a 10 and then uh, we have a other class e that class have added the package and then we have a static variable we have a static block static block initialized by, by integer variables i equal to 2 and then we'll print this so what will be the value so we have to check so either main method we have i values then we have f then in this f we added this package and then in the package we have a static block static variables and main method so a static block will call first so i is equal to 1 and here i static integer equal to 2 so which one will call first so what will happen a static int i equal to 2 now we initialize with i is equal to 1 so a static variables and block so there is a, some priority which will be called first in this so this if you go here see a static 
integer is i equal to 2 will be printed first because of the static block we have i and then a static integer we have i equal to 2 so block has 1 then we have reinitialized with 2 and then that is print we'll go for the different we have a f1 the class package has added and then main method and a static so a static anywhere also will have declared that we have we can use anywhere in the main method so a static variable may be declared inside the class maybe inside the method or maybe outside of the class outside of method also so this is the static tail is there so we can use because once the loaded of the class f1 then a static instance variable will be loaded so we can use this well and then here we see this g and then a static main method main method will have a static so on this static block is there a static block is i so i is I can't be uh, refer the field before defined because uh, I is you are using here but I is not sure what is that I is I static non-static and all because once the compiler will execute this G class then it will go for the static block first so static block I is not reinitialized whatever I is there in this one that will be load after this block so I value it will be defined here by default as zero but before not before after this static block so a static block is unable to find so here you will get some exception like a, you can't define this i value here into the i value so we have one resolve exception we'll see what is the exception can't define this value And uh, then we have a G H and then H we have a, this one so inside that main method but before main method we have a defined static block so the static block will have a J so that J has been defined uh, but uh, I is not yet defined here so can't reference uh, before the same uh, will be called because i is not yet defined and trying to use inside this block and the j i is defined here after that so static so our program will execute line by line in that so in that case what will happen if you have a static block which will be called first and uh, inside this j i we are defining but i is not dead clear so you will get this this error and then we have j i and inside this we have a class i inside that we have a static block sib then a static method is also there a static variable is also there so how we will call what are the ways and which will be on priority to call so in that cases all the static block will load first so sip1 and sip2 will be loaded then it will go for the main method main method i value will be loaded so that i will have a test method so this method will call this test method then test and return because this is a type so we have a return 10 so if we'll run this program you will get some idea like about how we will prioritize this a static variable a static method and a static block so the see what happened a static int i test is there so the test will be go and that will be printed and after that we'll have a sib this SIB will be printed then we have a sib2 and then we have a done this will be called and then this one so all the uh, once the classes will be loaded the priority will go for this static block if nothing is there if you have declared any instance variable before the block it will be called first it will go for the static block and then after that static method or main method will be called
here if you go here so we have a see a static in test is there so this is the variable which will call main uh, test method so the test method will call here static in test and uh, the test what we have static in test okay and i static in i test so the test and a static int i static in test so the test will be called form being main null zero because argument default is null zero then end and then to return 20 so like this so if we'll go for the run program so what we'll see here see first what we are doing we are running this test because priority will go for the first of this one so test will be called and inside the test being test will go for here so that's test being and then null so the main null this is the argument which is a string null default is 0 so this here that 0 will be printed and after that main end main end so this execution has completed then after that prioritize will, will be for this static block so stib in begin then main main null so this right now main null because Uh, return is 20 right now so it will go for the 20 here uh, instead of null and after that it will go for the end and then again it will print for this main method so this is the output and uh, execution of uh, the program how we will execute SIV static block static variable static method main method and all then after that we have uh, others uh, have uh, app 3 in the app 3 also will go for this uh, logic related for static so we have a uh, multiple class are there and now uh, instead of that class how uh, we will use that suppose if you have declared static variable in class a then how we will call based on the class name we will call this static variable so uh, if you want on uh, the value for this then again we have a um, class C that class C we have enum so that enum will have a in the simple package same package we can declare an enum class interface multiple interface and then uh, this is that so class F in that class F so we are now declaring here static int i integer and then main method is there and again we have a class g is also there already defined so we will, we will put this one as a one then here also we have to put one here also we have because this class was f was already defined so that's why we are getting a diff error so see if you will run this g so the g will have a f dot i so the classes inside the package we have a multiple classes so static we can use uh, through that uh, based on the class name so f dot i so that i default value will be printed here this one if you if you will run this f1 then f1 will have a main method so default value is this one and f dot i means default value again will have a this one so if you will run this program inside that based on we have a two class so two class uh, if you want first you have to run this class f1 then you will get this one and then g class h we have a static and then main method so this static block will be called first in that cases which have sib and then uh, why the error okay because of some code change yeah so here sib will be called and then main method will be printed here so if you run here this will be sib and main method then if you have a we have a multiple class in the same package 
then what will happen uh, if you want if you want in this j class we'll have a static block two static block and one main method and in k class also have two static block one main method so if we'll run this k class then node sib12 and then main if you'll run j class then jsib12 and main will be printed and uh, we have a different one is a k class so this l class so that l class also we have one sib block and one main method and l m also have a one main method and then uh, may one sib block and one main method so inside the main method mean and then l and dot main argument will be called so l dot main argument means this main will be called and then we have main end like this so this will be printed and then I will go for this next one so if you want to print based on the class name also you can print uh, you can run this application because we have uh, in a single uh, package we have two classes so uh, class n have integer int i equal to 10 a static block is there and a static variable is there but in class o we have a static block and the main method so uh, if you run this o class then a static block will be called and then main method will call this one then n dot i n dot i n dot i and then this like that so uh, n dot i default value is uh, uh, same package because we have java dot land package to default inside that we have a class n and o will be there so you can use a static instance based on the class name so n dot i will be printed as 10 n dot i n dot i 10 10 10 and o dot e is the sop will be printed will run this and then uh, default only as sib is there so this sib will be called without main method also sib will be called here we have a main method and we have a p class and q class p class have sib and then main method test method and uh, we have q class main method that the main method will have a test 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 so p dot test p dot test p dot test this one like this so once you will run this p dot test so that means it means p class test method will be called so while test method will be called so before this we have a static also will be called and then we have a, this one R class the R class also we declare a static integer type and then S class why the P class have error we don't have an R class and S class have a single wide method we declare here and then P class have a main method inside the main method have r dot i so inside that we can call r dot i r in the other class which is there in the java land package we already declare here this r class so this r class dot i value we are printing so r class the value is here 10 so that that also we will print here because a static instance variable we can call based on the class name anywhere in the same package so the r value will be printed 10 and then again s dot test is there so s also be declared here one test so in that test form test will be called because this is also a static test then we have a u uh, so this u class have a static declaration and main method so a static variable will call and main method will call if we'll go for this v and uh, u also have done then we'll go for the v class so the v class we need to add the package first and then add it the package and after that we see one is a static block and after that main method is there so the static block will call the main method and after that we have a u so the u main method will call so you have already declared here so this u main method means here u u this main call and then after that u this main call and then after that what will happen and then again u dot null so you main argument will call and u dot null so that's main argument here this one will call and null as a 
uh, this again this will be called as a null and then main int like this so if you go for the w class w class we have our two classes added one is the c another is a d so in the c and d we have a two class inside the same package and then uh, what we are trying to do here we have a class c c is already defined so that's why we are getting here so we need to make it as a c1 and here also we need to make it as a c1 here also we have to make it as a c1 correct now we are getting d so d also defined somewhere here because already we discussed before so that d now what is happening c1 have a integer variable and integer method uh, static variable and static method are there d is also a main method i mean said main method they are trying to call this c dot i so the c dot i is default value will be zero and then c dot test so the c dot test here default value will be zero so if you we'll run this program you will get this correct output but we have a two class so based on the class you can run so if you we'll run this d class then in this will be yeah so that way we can uh, we can go through this uh, static block static variables and uh, sib we can say and then static method and all so we'll discuss next topic on the next uh, section so we cover two sections section one part one part two and section two part three i covered inside all the apps i have covered so we have app one app two and app three was there after that we will discuss for the next we have a different uh, topic based on that we will try to understand the programming logic basic programming logic for the scores are related yeah that's it thank you for that